Flareon is a pretty interesting Pokemon in GCN News history. It wasn't allowed in the Mr. Mime metagame, as it was still being tiered as UU back then. While Flareon isn't completely unviable in GCUU, since it is the only Grow Pat user, it is still very bad in that tier, so it dropped into 2018 tearing shifts. In the two Raichu metagames, Flareon was a decent, albeit inconsistent Pokemon. Its main draw was Growth plus Baton Pass, a combination of moves that no other Pokemon in GCNU possesses. If Flareon could pass special attack boosts to Pokemon like Surf Raichu, Feraligatr, or Golduck, then they would become incredibly hard to stop. Flareon had a lot of issues, though, since it wasn't very fast, had mediocre physical bulk, and was weak to water and ground. Beyond growth pass, Flareon was a pretty crappy Pokemon, since it had a terrible matchup against the dominant water types, as well as Dugtrio. Eventually, though, Raichu and the broken water types were banned, and we entered the modern GCNU metagame. And early on in this metagame, Flareon was the subject of a lot of hype. With Feraligatr gone, Flareon had the highest base stat total of any Pokemon in GCNU, period. Since phasing moves are virtually non-existent in GCNU, the best way to stop Flareon's passing is to just hit it with a faster, super effective attack. That's pretty hard to do though, when Flareon is hitting you extremely hard with plus one Fire Blast. Fire Blast hits Pokemon like Gloom, Magnemite, and Pineco super effectively, while Hidden Power Grass hits Water and Rock types that resist fire. Flareon is quite possibly the worst Pokemon to give free turns to in GCNU. Flareon's special defense is also very high, so it could set up on Pokemon like Zatu and Magnemite fairly safely. People thought Flareon would be absolutely amazing in the new metagame. Grow Pass into something like Zatu or Octillery looked almost unstoppable. Some people even thought about mix sets with Double Edge to take advantage of Flareon's attack stat. Rest Talk sets even seemed to have potential, as Flareon's high special defense let a choke Pokemon like Zatu. Quickly though, people realized that Flareon wasn't all that. It still had the same issues as in the old metagame. There was being weaknesses to ground and water, being slow, and not having the best physical bulk. Flareon could rarely pull off a pass without sacrificing over half its health, and most of the time it would just pass one growth to a Zatu or something, and that could still be answered with Dugong or something. The extreme prominence of Dugtrio later on was also horrible for Flareon, as Dugtrio outspeeds and does over 80% of Flareon. GC and you getting faster just didn't help at all, as Pokemon that could threaten po Flareon like Sattler and Kingler got far more popular. Flareon was unfortunately a victim of overhype in the early stages of modern GCNU. It was eventually tiered as A- in the GCNU viability rankings, and that has pretty much been its story since. Flareon has never been outright bad, but it's always been pretty inconsistent. While Flareon can sometimes instantly win the game by passing plus 2 to Zatu or something, it can also just flop hard due to its speed and weaknesses. Grow Path strategies are just high risk high reward, in my opinion. People also experimented more with mixed sets as time went on, but while they were solid, they never really caught on. In the end though, would it really be a GCN new Pokemon if Miss Dawn over here didn't spend hours in the team builder trying to make it work? Recently, I've tried a lot to make Flareon consistent, and I think I figured it out. That was with both Growth Pass and mix sets, I might add. First off, you want to pair Growth Pass with Screens. Dragonair is the best screen setter in the tier, and it can check stuff like Hidden Power Electric Artillery, so it's a good partner. Next you want to get something for Dugtrio, which is why I use Execute on Growth Pass teams. Execute was able to hard counter Dugtrio, and then it can explode and spread paralysis. After that, you want your Growth Pass recipients, and I run two of them on Growth Pass teams. The first one is Zatu, which is like really fucking obvious. Zatu is amazing, and it's like extremely dangerous when you pass Growth with. Zatu also passes Defensive Utility against Kingler, Zatu is not the primary growth pass recipient though, as that honor goes to 3 attacks plus protect Dugong. 3 attacks Dugong is in my opinion, the scariest recipient of growth pass, as it is very bulky, decently fast, and stronger than artillery with plus 1 special attack. Also nothing can handle Dugong with just 1 special attack boost, and if it gets past plus 2, or even plus 3, then good luck. Protect also makes it harder for to just wear Dugong down, with faster stuff like Salar and Pharaoh. Dugong also has useful defensive synergies with Flareon, as Flareon could pass the Dugong against Pokemon like Octillery and Dugtrio. Setting up screens and then passing to 3 attacks Dugong is how I usually run growth past Flareon these days. There's still the mix sets though, and I quite like them. Flareon's special attack set is very high, so it's able to fire off some strong fire blasts. The main advantage Flareon has over something like Rapidash is a much more powerful double edge. Flareon's attack stat is the highest of any Pokemon in GCNU, so it's double edges 3 RKO almost every neutral target. In particular, 
Flurry had double-edged three AKL's artillery, which is something Rapidash can never dream of. From there, it usually picks between Hidden Power Ground and Hidden Power Grass. Hidden Power Ground three AKL's Pokemon like Rapidash, Magmar, Ninetales, and Soda Widow, while Hidden Power Grass hits Rock and Ground types. Flareon's last move slot on these sets is usually a filler slot, so it's just tax on some utility move. Protect, Sunny Day, or Roar are options here. Overall, Flareon is a pretty flawed Pokemon, but it's got a lot of potential in my opinion. It can run a lot of sets and has excellent stats all around, but it's still held back by its typing and stats. High risk, high reward, sounds like a good way to describe this fiery ass dog. Like look at it, it's a dog and it's on fire, holy shit, it's Sunny Day as well.